Hi everyone, uh, today is March 1st, 2019, and I've been meaning to do this for a long, long time, but I'm just recording an introduction to a video that was recorded on December 29th, 2017. For those that don't know, in December of 2017, the average BTC fees were over $50 for a single transaction. The average fees, myself personally, I paid more than $1,000 in fees for more transactions than I can count. And uh, I'm gonna play a video here from uh, Rick Falkving. For those that don't know who Rick Falkving is, he's the founder of the Swedish Pirate Party, but he's also the man that way back in 2011 announced to the world that he was selling everything that he owned and buying Bitcoin with it. In 2011, he did that. Uh, so he went all in on Bitcoin in 2011. And he has a fantastic YouTube channel now where he points out you know, all the things that are happening in the ecosystem. And anybody that wants to learn about what's going on, uh, please subscribe to his channel, watch his videos, they're great. And uh, this particular video, he's talking about the network effects of Bitcoin legacy, BTC. And uh, it's interesting watching this video several years later. I think some aspects, he has some really, really astute insights. Uh, and in others, like BTC is still around and I think it does have somewhat of a, a network effect. But uh, anyhow, you anybody can learn a lot from Rick. So without uh, further ado, here's his video. And uh, if you appreciate the message that's here, please uh, subscribe to his channel, share his videos, or share this video as well, and subscribe to this channel because that's how we can spread uh, the truth. So uh, here it is, see you next time. Hi, I'm Rick. Let's talk a little bit about Bitcoin legacy BTC having this huge network effect and therefore being almost impossible to unseed as the number one cryptocurrency or crypto asset since it's no, no longer a cryptocurrency because you can't use it as a, as a currency. Let's talk a little bit about this network effect that is so mythological and so immense. The network effect is something that comes from Metcalfe's law. It was a device in, a, around the time of the uh, beginning of the Ethernet and it states that the value of a network is proportional to the square of the number of users connected to that network. The key word in this context is users. Users. Because Bitcoin legacy BTC is bloody impossible to use, isn't it? Even the Bitcoin legacy BTC community states that if you want to use Bitcoin, you shouldn't be using Bitcoin legacy. You should be using something else. I've never seen such atrocious business sense. They should go to Harvard Business School and apologize. It's like... What these people in the Bitcoin legacy, BTC community are doing is basically looking at when to sell. They're fixated extremely on the price. When to sell, when to hodl everybody's hodling and if you're just hodling you're not doing much with your bitcoin legacy tokens are you you're storing them in a closet somewhere to take out at an opportune moment to buy that bloody lambo that is not what using means that does not contribute anything at all to the network effect that does not create a network effect at all the network effect is characterized by pain of leaving the network if I'm leaving Twitter, if I'm leaving Facebook, then my utility goes down sharply because I can't join another network and get a reasonable substitute since I'm also leaving a number of users of that, that network behind. The net effect of just hodling Bitcoin legacy, BTC, is a number of people boasting about having MySpace accounts. But of course, they never log into the MySpace accounts because it's bloody unusable, isn't it? And so this community actually tells itself that, no, you shouldn't be using my, MySpace if you want social media. If you want to use it for something, you should be using Facebook. And then revel in how great it is to have a MySpace account. Revel in how great it is to be hodling Bitcoin legacy, BTC, which is completely, completely unusable for anything. What Bitcoin legacy ha does have going for it is brand recognition and first mover advantage. Six degrees was unseated by Friendster, was unseated by MySpace, was unseated by Facebook. A first mover advantage is not a guarantee to be the eventual winner. And brand recognition, well, there is another fork of Bitcoin now, Bitcoin Cash, 
Bitcoin BCH, which dates all the way all the way back to the Genesis block, just like Bitcoin Legacy BTC, and frankly has a lot more going for it in terms of usability. So just to dispel this particular myth, and we'll be returning to this nonsense about hodling later. But just to dispel this particular myth, Bitcoin Legacy BTC has exactly zero network effect because the pain of selling your Bitcoin tokens and leaving other people behind holding their network tokens is absolutely zero because you're not interacting with them. You're not using Bitcoin Legacy. You're not in any reasonable meaning of the word connected to the other users of that network. The network effect is zero.